Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Russelt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to create an edit component um, dynamically. So let's add a normal edit component to the form. So like any any component you can add different properties and events to it. And but instead of creating all of this, like when we, when we added the the edit, the, the edit component now, it was um, added in design time. But a, como a component that is created in um, runtime is called dynamically creating it. Let's go to this button and create this edit in design time. Ah, in runtime. When you create it in, in runtime, we actually have to um, um, add all of the properties and events via code. That's what it is all about. Let's create it. Let's first add a variable. We'll call it then edit. It is of type t edit. This is a normal variable which holds the value of any t edit control. Let's start by saying then edit dot create. Oops, no, 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 no. We set it then edit equals to the t edit dot create and in the parentheses we add self which basically just means it means that it is an owner of itself then we say then edit dot parent frm home and this means that um, this this form will be the parent of then edit so basically right now this button is a child of the form and the form is a parent of the button because the button is inside of the is in is inside of the form it's just what we are saying here let's actually do it a bit differently let's add a oops not that let's add a panel we'll align the panel to the client remove the caption We'll call this one PNL parent, and then we'll say the edit is a parent of the. Oh no, the edit, edit is a child of the of the, pan, the panel, and the panel is a parent of the ch the edit. So the edit edit will now appear inside of this um, panel. Let's say then edit dot text so we can set it a text property for instance such as this is is a dynamically created edit component and we can set it a width of let's say 300 we can set it a height of let's say 100 or let's make 70 or no, let's make it 100 then add one dot oops dot font dot size let's make the size um, 20 and then then edit dot left column equals let's make it 50 then edit dot top dot top make it hundred okay and that's all we need okay let's compile and here's our dynamic dynamically created component or edit let's say then edit dot line to al top right, let's say t align dot l top so we set the alignment to top that actually means that we don't even need this top property here so now it's aligned to the top and if you create a new one it will automatically also be created 
here okay and we can even give it a random uh, let's move this one here okay mm, okay um, yeah let's not give it a random one you can give it a random left and two property I like going with the um, top one here okay this is an integrated component let's just add increase I count let's add an I count here I count uh, in feature the form is created this will be set to zero I count zero then here we can just like add plus I count dot string plus dynamic edit the systemic edit component okay so now we can see what's my problem now okay so now we can actually see the number of which is the first one second one Third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. Yes, yeah, created it. Everyone, every one of these. Okay. And we can even um, give it like a property here. Let's add a normal edit quickly. Edit. We can even give it one of, one of these, such as an on change, on click. You know, please, let's just give it an on change event. Oops, let's create this one here. Let's delete this one. Okay, let's go to the top in the pub private field here. We'll add a procedure, procedure called then either change sender key ob object. Okay, and then we'll just add it here procedure key if I am home dot here we can find then change. And let's just say if the um, sender as the edit dot text is text, let's say if the length of the text is equal to ten characters, then it will show us show now then it will hide it so let's let's show it show message send it as the edit dot text oops we still assign it okay now we can just say then edit dot on change we see this to the then edit change event and now it will write it and let's say we enter some text as soon as it as soon as it reaches um, um a length of 10 it will Display it, then it's actually hide it. Yes, yeah, better. Dot. Then you can destroy it. As you can see from here, we just destroy it. Also, at the end, the story is fine. Great one, that's why I'm text to it, and there it is destroyed because it's reached the um 
length of 10 10 10 characters 10 characters 10 characters also some um, Delphi nowadays um, does a lot of cleaning up for you in the memory but people still sometimes we, we remember um, when you work with dynamically creating components and things you have to free it so you can add this if you want I tend to leave it out for such small things because Delphi usually does this automatically for you for things simple as this when you close the application but you can add it if you want that's basically it guys is how to get a an, an edit component dynamically and that's it for this video guys if this video helped you in any way then please make sure to leave a like um subscribe for more videos and leave a comment if you have any questions or any, any, any suggestions and i'll see you in the next video bye yeah Cheers guys.